What's cracking Jump Nation family? It's your boy here, Rushi S, aka The Jump Rope Coach. Welcome back to another quick fire skipping tutorial people where today is a bit more of a talky video but it's really important that I wanted to share this with you. Uh, not a lot of people talk about it but obviously I have to because I've got a rope brand. We're talking about how to take care of your ropes especially in colder temperatures. Now today in the UK roughly about four or five uh, degrees I think an American kind of Fahrenheit I don't know how you guys do the metrics there but it's low all right so you can see hopefully the smoke coming out my my mouth I say smoke it's cold yeah <laughs> It's condensation, yeah. Thank you, Nathan. Uh, but we're just gonna talk, talk through basically like what to do, what to kind of look out for, what can help you, and just basically prevent your ropes snapping on you uh, or you just having really like shitty kind of skipping workouts in the outdoors when it's cold, right? So we're gonna talk about a few things uh, and it's gonna be a really short video, but it's important I get this out of the people because like I said, I've got my own ropes. Um, I've been in the business for nearly four or five years now selling products and I've been working hard at obviously trying to find super strong durable skipping ropes without kind of compromising just good vinyl okay now there's a lot of skipping ropes out there uh yeah loads of different brands but when your rope is stiff when it's thick obviously it's going to be durable in colder temperatures uh, but it's not going to move nicely it's not going to flow nicely and i've always said that this rope should not be exposed to cold temperatures right and, and the reason is because when it's got some heat in it when it's got some room temperature in it it moves better it flows better it gets you get a better workout okay you get a better kind of I guess experience with your rope uh, doing tricks doing combinations and we're just gonna bring this camera in right camera Brie this is now in the cold at four degrees UK this is how the rope is sitting right now okay so if you can see like it's looking tangled as fuck right like it's, it's not looking pretty if it was the summertime now you would see like the rope being really nice uh, relaxed you, you, you could basically like spin it around even um, you could spin it around like this and it and you would see there's there's no knots uh, but in the winter you can see like the rope it has these crazy shapes to it you can see kind of like there's little kinks uh, and this is just cold temperature people this is something you just can't get away from especially with my ropes and like i said you can buy thicker ropes out there you can buy different brands of speed ropes but when it comes to the summer when it comes to actually using them inside gyms or indoors they're not going to move as nicely as especially like something like the money rope right the vinyl is top quality premium but we're going to talk you through this right first things first uh you have to you have to always make sure if you are going to go outdoors that you are not storing your ropes already in the cold because you're going to go straight into your workouts uh, and you're going to have ropes that look like this and what this leads to is just unordinary bounces trip ups um, and you're just going to feel like is it your technique is it what's going on you're going to realize it's the rope sooner or later it's not going to move like you want it to so just store your ropes um, indoors especially and if you're going to go outside just keep those kind of workouts kind of short that's my opinion um, and that's kind of from my experience because the cold when it gets into the rope and even if you want to kind of like do really fast double under something like that the rope becomes more brittle so you just don't want to put your rope through that stress okay second point is this is if you are going to be outside you have to and i'm telling you you have to have to have to be on a skipping mat so nathan come back inside here just get a bit closer like these mats that we design are optimal for when it comes to skipping all right like the, the material, the bounce, the feedback, it's all made to make sure it can withstand colder temperatures, obviously, and help your ropes bounce correctly. When it's already cold, if you're on concrete, I guarantee you, you are gonna snap this rope at any point. Like, it's gonna be so easy to snap this rope because you're now mixing in cold weather and then harsh impacts and friction and dragging onto hard surfaces like concrete, gravel, rocks, stones, whatever it is, and you're gonna break your rope, okay? Third point, people, is what kind of things should you be doing if you are going to be outdoors if you can't get away from it like let's say you're now in somewhere like canada or like alaska or so i'm just thinking of places that are cold i don't know greenland and you're using these ropes you can't get away from it you can't skip inside there are, there are no gyms nearby what do you do okay now okay my advice like sincerely is just don't go crazy with your moves like there's a lot of people out there especially beginners and, and this is something that we need to touch on in, in future videos but beginners don't have the correct techniques at that moment in time to make sure that they can go at high speeds and keep this rope safe so another example if we get nathan back in here we're just going to focus on my wrist here bro beginners when they're now skipping right at speed what they always tend to do what they generally tend to do when i see is they have their their wrist supinated 
like this, okay? Like, like the wrists are outwards. Hopefully I got that right, supination. Um, they had their wrists out here and they're now spinning this rope really fast, like here. Now, if you can see this point of the handle, they, they make basically moving this rope at a 90 degree angle, okay? Now imagine I didn't have the, the handle on this skipping rope. You're now moving it around an axis like this, okay? This is gonna lead to obviously cuts at the rope. And when it's cold, when the temperature's cold right now, obviously this is gonna become more and more brittle, like I mentioned. So you wanna get used to now, especially if you're in the cold, if you do wanna go at a little bit more speed, you wanna get used to basically rotating your wrists with the rope. Now this is a technique that I teach on my fundamentals course online. I've taught a long time, for a long time anyway on this channel, but you have to get used to moving your wrists with the rope. And it's really important because what that means is now the rope does not catch the sides of these handles. And a lot of people say to me, oh, the rope keeps breaking maybe at the, at the handles, when, especially when it's cold. Is there a way you can fix this? The truth is I've never broken any ropes in my life, especially my ropes anyway, um, over the last four or five years. And the thing is, it's because I've got used to and I've got, got accustomed to making sure that when I'm spinning this rope now, that if you watch my wrists, they always move. I always feel like they move forward and down, like the thumbs move in this fashion here. They don't move out here like this, okay? Even with outstretched hands, they move with the rope. And what that's gonna allow you to do, people, is gonna make sure that, again, your rope doesn't snag. It doesn't have that kind of friction. So that point that I'm making here now is if you're gonna, if you're gonna go in the cold and if you're gonna feel like it's your only option to be in the cold, just make sure you don't go in at fast speeds, especially if you're a beginner, all right? And even if you are intermediate or advanced, that you have these techniques down where you're just making sure you take care of your ropes, right? Now, the final point here, um, hopefully it's all making sense right now. It's gonna be a short video, like I said. Colder temperatures, right? Yes, affect the vinyl. How you store them is very important. Making sure you're on a mat is very important. Your techniques on how you use them. But just be, be kind of mindful that at the end of the day, guys, this is a skipping rope, yeah? Back in the day, before Rush Athletics, I guess, and before the kind of jump rope movement started, people would skip like this, okay? People would, this would be skipping, right? It'd be like this, all right? This was skipping back in the day, all right? Some people might throw in a double under, but this is the reason why ropes would hardly snap. This is the reason why, why, why ropes would hardly break, because people were just doing basic stuff, okay? Now we're at a point where beginners are wanting to do stuff that kind of look like this, you know, like here. Yeah, ropes. Ropes are moving at super fast speeds. You've got double unders now like this. Now, everyone is getting to the point where they want to get to these moves. And then they're saying, why the skipping rope's not durable? Like my old skipping ropes used to do this when I, when I used to skip back in the days. Remember, things have moved on a bit. People are getting faster. People don't have the techniques kind of currently down. And when you're in colder temperatures, it's going to kind of like exaggerate some of these things. So just be mindful, take care, store them inside your house go for shorter workouts, use a mat, make sure your techniques are on point. So that's what I wanted to share today. Hopefully not too long of a video. Um, drop me a comment, drop me a line. Hopefully you're enjoying obviously all our ropes. They're gonna take care of you if you take care of them, I promise you, right? You're gonna make sure you guys will be skipping like pros. As always, use the links down below if you're not equipped, if you're not geared up, and uh, make sure you subscribe, give this video a big thumbs up. That'd be really helpful and how allow this channel to grow. So guys, appreciate you guys. Love you all, thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Take care of yourself, skip the treadmill, stay safe. Peace. Was the night in shining armor in your movie? Well, put your lips on mine and love the aftertaste now.